interesting out of Turkey. What do we know so far and what is the justification for them uh, putting these bases in Somalia? Jumana, what we know so far is Turkey's president says they're working on increasing the range for their domestically built Typhoon missile. Previously, they've tested it on the Black Sea with a range of 561 kilometers, but they need to test it in long ranges. And that's where Somali comes in. It sits at an ideal location off the shores of the Indian Ocean. So that solves the range problem without um, increasing the risk of the debris falling in residential areas. And this is also a two-way deal. Outside of the ballistic missiles, Turkey is a new player in this race to space, and they're looking to fire some hybrid rockets to space. Hence, they want to build a spaceport in Somali. Interesting. Uh, so is this part of a bigger partnership deal between Turkey and Somalia? Is there, are there going to be more deals that are going to come on the back of this, or are we just starting with this initial step uh, with the view that perhaps later on they can build on that relationship? Absolutely, Jumana, but they're building up on this relationship. Um, they've just signed a partnership to enhance um, economic and defense cooperation for the next decade. But this partnership dates back to all the way in 2011 when um, Turkey's president visited Somali. And we began seeing funding going into key sectors like education, like health care, like security. And it's important to know that if we zoom in on security, um, Turkey is playing a mediator role between Somali and Ethiopia over their tea food Somaliland. They've also built their biggest Oversea base in Somalia, and they're helping their troops fight um, Al Shabaab and also rebuild their country. But they also have their eyes set on natural resources. They'll be dispatching a hydrocarbon ship to search for oil and gas, and they're also looking at mining corporations in other parts of Africa, like Niger.